I just had a dream that I broke my pinky finger. The bone was sticking out of it. It was super, super vivid. I woke up and was like, thank God I didn't actually break it. And then I went back to bed, had another dream, and I was telling my friend about the dream that I broke my finger. What is life? All right, I'm finally in Oaxaca. It kind of gives me small town vibes. Like there's no very tall skyscrapers or anything like that, but it's also very big. The hostel's super nice. Pretty much like everything about it so far, it just seems very open and big. They have a rooftop bar that overlooks the hostel, so that's pretty cool. Also don't have any hot water, but that's okay because your boy needs to start taking some more cold showers. Now it's time to go get some food. I have not eaten all day. The cars around here are super interesting. A lot of them are super old. Next place I plan on going is Puerto Escondido. She said I need to take a bus to get there. She recommended a certain company, ADO. I think it's gonna be $50 or so. Not too bad because I think it's a six hour trip. So three days here, Puerto Escondido. Let's look around. Let's find what's cool here. Mexico, yeah? Okay, first of all, bro, that food was delectable. I had three tacos, one with octopus, two with shrimp, and then guacamole with grasshoppers on it. But the whole entire time, I was just listening to a movie next to me because the lady was asking her, I'm assuming boyfriend, if he was still in love with his ex and making him swear up and down that he was so into her and that he loved her so much that she made him explain like four reasons he's in love with her would not want to be that man's. So far, every single restaurant has had that one salsa. It has me sweating and tearing up and <sighs> regretting everything. Now I'm just gonna walk around a bit, chill, and then go back to my hostel and watch some shows because I'm pretty tired. I did not get good sleep last night. And I'm also going to eat at the grocery later because food is just expensive here, man. I don't know how people, how locals live. It makes no sense. American cities are so boring. They always have such cool stuff going on in other countries, literally everywhere. They also always have one drunk guy that's like an NPC from a video game. It do kind of be smelling like rotten salsa in some of these streets though. So many people in Cancun and also at Mexican restaurants back home told me this, but everyone here is like 0.5 feet tall. Gimme, give gimme. Give I walk to like, six different grocery stores only to end up with a gas station dinner. I could not find any good options in there. I am a simple man. I just need to get my calories in basically. The people in my room told me that there's this market you can go to to get really cheap food and it's delicious. So we're gonna check that out tomorrow. But until then, bedtime. Sleepy time for Chase Gaines. I love you all.